Hello, I'm Terry Kolath. I'm here today with Karen Hubbard of Turban, and we're going to do a little mini class on something that is so much fun it's going to surprise you. A number of semesters ago, Karen Hubbard, by request, by a lot of requests, taught a class on coloring books, coloring with colored pencils and coloring books. It was a brand new fad. People were getting interested in coloring and coloring books. And we noticed a lot of things in those classes, didn't we? About yes, we did. How rewarding it is to do this. Tell us a little bit about it, Karen. Well, it's very comforting. Um, oftentimes, artists will speak about getting in the zone where everything else is blocked out and they're concentrating on what they're doing. And that happens uh, most often in the colored pencil class. In fact, um, Dan Philgreen came in to film one, and when he finished, he beckoned me aside and he said, I've never been in a classroom this quiet. I said, yes, once they get going, they're really going. Um, very, very relaxing. The repetitive motion is, is quite relaxing to people. And uh, you're right, it did start as a fad, but it's gone beyond that because, as you know, you can purchase the coloring books anywhere. I have a little selection here. Um, different that you can can purchase. Uh, this one is a Christian theme. This one, and they're, they're very, very different. This one is quite colorful. You can actually copy what's in there, or you can create your own. There's no right or wrong. Mm -hmm. You've got a paper and a pencil, and it's go for it. So to begin with, I'm going to talk about just a few things. <clears throat> you can have a very extensive set of colored pencils, like this. You can store them in a case like this. You can store them in boxes. It doesn't matter. You do have to keep them safe, because if you drop them, the core can break inside. Yeah. These are also uh, gel pens, which a lot of people are using for colored pencil now. And when your pencil gets short, you put it in a pencil extender, so you've not lost any of it. Um, pencil sharpeners are probably the most important part of this, really? other than the pencils, yes, because you can use handheld. I prefer a battery operated or electric uh, pencil sharpener. Mm -hmm. And let me give you an example. This appears to be a sharp point. This is a dull point. But what we're looking for is an effect like this. Because your paper, if you were to look at it under a microscope, is hills and valleys. And you have to have that point to be able to get into the valleys. Otherwise, when you're finished, you'll see all the white showing through your color. I'm going to talk a little bit about strokes, just a few strokes. Mm -hmm. If you'll choose a small area on here, mm -hmm. I will show you um, perhaps a flower or a leaf. You can do that by doing very, very, very small circular strokes. And the secret to colored pencil is light layers, layer upon layer upon layer. Um, you might remember from your childhood in using crayons, it was the deep, deep, intense, almost screaming color. Mm -hmm. You can do the little circles like this. You can do an oval. I'll do that right here instead of doing a little circle. And I'm making this darker than I normally would so you can see it. Mm -hmm. You can do it as an oval. Filling it in as you go. So the specific strokes, little circles, yes. little yep. ovals. Mm -hmm. And you go back over it so that you don't have any absences, they call them, so that you've got full, complete color. It's easier to stay in the line doing this, too. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Then if I you, do? Very good. Thank very you. good. <laughs> if you're doing an open area, say like the lapel or this hat or the lapel, uh -huh. you can do that, but it's a little more time consuming. You can do a vertical stroke, just one over top of another. Um, one thing to remember is colored pencil is very difficult to erase. So you, it's, um, it's a slow medium, and that's mm -hmm. what makes it so reflective and meditative and relaxing. Sure. So you want to be careful. Um, give some thought to what you're doing beforehand so you're coloring in the proper space that you had in mind and so forth. So I'm noticing a few things right off the bat, Karen. I, I, I'm losing focus on what the bigger picture is, but I'm enjoying trying these. Exactly, exactly. And yeah. I'm, I'm successful. Yeah. I'm an art appreciator more than yes. an artist. Yes. And I am successful yeah. at doing this exactly. because of the few things yeah. you've taught me, which is wonderful. And if you don't, if you're not happy with what you've produced, keep in mind, it's just a piece of paper. Exactly. You know, just start all over again. Choose a different area. Take a page like this from one of your books um, and practice some different strokes in different areas and so forth. And then when you go back in with it, you're ready to just jump in. So in your colored pencil classes that you mm -hmm. teach, 
er, er, separately from coloring books, mm -hmm. using the medium painting actually with right, colored pencils. Right, right. Uh, you you learn an awful lot about the colored pencil, about color, about strokes. But for this, I, I ask you just because we've just been through a hurricane, and we all know what stress feels yes. like. And just to urge people wherever you are to get a set of colored pencils. I mean, I just picked up a little inexpensive set mm -hmm. of colored pencils, and with the few things you've told me today, I can do something relaxing and nice. Yes, yes, you can, and you'll enjoy it. You'll enjoy it very, very much. And you'll produce something that you might feel worthy of framing. That Absolutely. happens, too. Absolutely, it could yes. happen, yeah, yeah. Which, is, which matters what kind of book you get. Absolutely. But you can get these anywhere, can't you? Oh, I yes. mean, I've seen them yep. in a dollar store. I've yes. seen them in Barnes yes. & Noble. Yeah. One little tip for this, um, for the books, is try to choose one that's a little on the higher end price, at least $10, because that's the quality of the paper. Ah. It, it's heavier, the, the, the better quality. And if you want to use a gel pen, and you use a lesser quality paper, it will bleed right through. So if you've purchased a book that's printed on both sides, which this one was not, uh -huh. you might want to put something between so nothing comes through. Very nice, very nice. Well, as always, I thank you for sharing something that you enjoy. I do. And you, you took on the challenge a few semesters back. Let's just do these coloring books. And you said, sure, and brought your own professionalism to them and let us know that we don't have to be professional. No, absolutely we can enjoy not. enjoy it. Thank you so much. Well, I welcome. hope you'll try colored pencil painting on these coloring books for adults. It's very relaxing and it's fun.